Hello everyone, today we will be making a tutorial on how to install the WinCollect standalone agent on Windows Server 2022. And this should be the same for any Windows operating system, so be it Windows 10, Windows Server 2012 to up to 2022. Okay. So first, what you want to do, you want to go into IBM's Fix Central. I have the link pasted in the description below. Um, note that for you to be able to download um, the, EX, the MSI file, you are going to need to have an IBM Fix Central account, which is free. You can create one if you don't already have one. So once you click on that link, it should bring you here, and then you're going to select uh, the win collect 7.5.0 so uh, we're going to download that okay so I'm going to log in here with my IBM credentials remember if you don't have one you can just go to create the IBM ID Once you're signed in, it's going to ask you how you want to download this. If you want to use the Java Download Direct or FTP or SFTP, but we're just going to use the browser HTTPS. And then it is going to take us here where we want to click the download option. And you can also download. Um, the SHA-256 file so you can verify and make sure um, the file wasn't compromised in any way. So once you're done downloading, we're going to go into the downloads folder. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that file into my Windows Server operating system. Okay. Once you have that copied into the Windows machine you're trying to install this on, you just want to go ahead and double click. You go next. You accept the license agreement. And then we're going to do a quick installation. So for the curator host name, what you want to do is enter the host name for um, your curator virtual machine or appliances, um, uh, the fully qualified domain name if you have one in your environment or you can just use the IP address. For me, I'm just going to use the IP address here and I'm going to go select the option install. At this point, it is going to go ahead and install the WinCollect agent pretty easy. And that should be all we need to do on the Windows machine itself. So now we're going to go ahead and go into Curator. And we should be able to see a log source that has been automatically created in there for us. So once you sign into your Curator appliance or virtual machine, if you go into the Admin tab and go into Log Sources, you should now see the Windows server we just added in here. Okay, and we can see it's going to show up as Windows Authentication Server and then the host name. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to just the host name. And that is all you need to do. Once you go and you save that, you close. And we can go ahead and go to the Log Activity tab to verify that we are actually getting logs from that log source. So we're going to go down and we're going to look for that host name. There we go. If we add that and we filter that to the last five minutes, we can see on here that we are now receiving logs from the specific Windows server that we just installed the WinCollect agent. Also, quick tip here, if you do install the agent and it's taking some time for it to show up in Curator in your log sources, one, you might have to um, restart the machine or uh, just be patient and give it some time it will eventually catch up uh, and start 
sending those logs to your curator. If you want it to work right away, I would just say go ahead and reboot the Windows machine. You don't have to reboot, reboot curator, just the Windows machine and that should resolve the issue. And once the reboot is complete, if you go back into your log sources, you should be able to see the added Windows machine in there. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. Um, please don't forget to also like the video and subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day.